All right, so this right here is my little uh, Honda Civic. It's a 2012 uh, EX model. And funny story about it, um, I've had it close to a year now. It'll be a year in a few months. But uh, when I was looking at it at the car lot, um, it was like the first few weeks after I quit smoking. So I had like headaches and my eyes were like sensitive to light. And it was just too bright in the parking lot, sort of like it is now. Um, I genuinely thought this car was silver. It's hard to tell, or maybe it's easy to tell on camera, but it's like a bluish silver. Um, it even says light blue on the uh, paperwork and stuff. But uh, it's pretty much stock. I have done a few things to it so far. I've got these window visor things. Um, that way while I'm sleeping in it, I can crack the windows, have fresh air coming through on both sides, because I have them on both sides. And uh, I think that's been a pretty good investment. I also found these uh, on Amazon, I believe. They're like uh, universal roof racks, and they just kind of like have these hooks that go in the door jam. And uh, pretty easy to install, although I did cut my finger pretty good doing it, because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, yeah, I painted the badge black because race car, obviously. Um, I got that going on, and I guess it's time for me to show you the inside. We'll go ahead and start with the front because my car is a lot like a mullet. It's a business in the front, party in the back. It's kind of a mess right now because things slide around, but I've got my bed platform. I don't know if you can see that. It goes all the way to the center console in the front. I've got bags of food, another cooler full of dry goods, more mashed potato mix, um, oats, stuff like that. I have an extra pair of shoes, more bags and stuff here. Um, got this on Amazon for like 30 or 40 bucks and it's a uh, emergency roadside kit. It's got like tow cables, jumper cables, and first aid kits and pretty much everything you need really. So I'm excited about that. Uh, in case I get stuck somewhere or the flat or whatever, hopefully this will be able to get me out of there back on the road. I picked this up at Walmart. It's a one of those little rocket stove things. Um, the time I purchased it, I didn't find the actual propane cylinder to go with it because they were like plum sold out. So, got that. My bed platform is actually some like old bed foam. I think it's like half inch or something and I gotta fold it over four times and it's got a uh, like industrial carpet over it and it's like dark blue and cool and stuff so it's pretty comfy uh, maybe one day I'll do an update video where I show you the platform and stuff but there is like a blanket I've got this pillow here because it wasn't quite the foam wasn't quite long enough maybe I can fix that over here I've got a four-person tent which is bigger than what I need, but I don't feel like spending money on a tent if I already have one. A cheap camping chair right there, it's hard to see. The boys got toilet paper, and one thing I think will be coming in handy. It's hard to see, damn. It's a little solar shower. You like put water in it, hang it somewhere in the sun, and then like an hour or two, you can have a shower and it has a little nozzle. Here's a, uh, ceramic pot uh, little teacup I've got a mess kit somewhere I've got some tools here uh, this here is a window shade for the front and I've got custom ones I made for the back and sides and stuff still working on getting those optimized um, these are pretty much like my get dirty shoes something I can wear in a creek or river if I need to um, underneath my platform I've got a spare tire jack um, universal wrench, all that sort of stuff. And now the business section of my vehicle. Uh, for the most part, it's pretty normal up here. I found this old cushion to make these hard ass seats a little bit more comfortable. Cause uh, this thing ain't no luxury machine. Uh, if I slide the seat up, pull it forward, gives me a bit more space. 
Uh, I've got extra canned goods like sauces and beans and spices and stuff here. I think I actually have a bit too much food because it's making my car really heavy. Um, here's my platform for my bed. I made it out of like quarter inch plywood and some two by fours and kind of nailed it in there. It's not perfect and it'll like move around a bit. It is actually a little bit short because when I designed it, I had taken the bottom part of the seat out, but later changed my mind because I uh, just wanted it to be a little bit less metal on metal, a bit, a bit more comfy and stealthy. Um, this here, I got two of these little pouches. There's one here and one on the driver's seat. Um, they're like little storage things. I got a solar power bank. And you know you gotta have Dr. Bronner's. Uh, protect the environment. Good old poop shovel. Um, Rain-X. Adhesive. Glass cleaner. Ropes and bungees. Freeze packs. Bike lock. Clips. Just random stuff that will come in useful. And under here I store these uh, window shades I've made out of Reflectix. And tape and paint and stuff. And some of those... I actually have Velcros on here, so they can go on there pretty well. Got the little goo Goofy Gooby, because my name is nickname is Gooby, so he just chills in the car. Uh, tissues, hats. This has more, even more food in it. Uh, it weighs a ton. It's got a mess kit in there, so that's pretty good. And uh, go ahead and show you the other side real quick. So back on the other side. And I know that the sun isn't exactly helping all this, but I'll try my best with one hand. <sighs> More storage here. Having those little battery powered light switches that are really cool. Uh, more stuff, pepper spray in there. Have one of these little guys. Um, it holds five quarts of water. And it lays pretty flat, so that's nice. Also have a tarp under here. And... Uh, the idea for the tarp was to somehow connect it to these rails and create a little porch that comes out here. I think it's like a 6x8 tarp, maybe even bigger, so I can make a good amount of shade where I need it and uh, stay more protected from rain or whatever. And that'll be nice. And for protection, other than pepper spray, Got a big ass Bowie knife, so nobody wants to mess with me. Um, my little Happy Camper sticker. Um, I don't know where I found that, but I just, I just liked it. So, yeah, um, pretty much that's all I've got going so far. I'd like to eventually get like an inflatable raft or like a little kayak that I can put on top of there, because I'd love to find the lake and paddle out there and just cast a fishing pole and stuff um, also another thing I wanted to talk about was I did have a bag like a big storage bag that sat on top and it was like 13 cubic feet or something way too big for my car but I was lucky and I found it at a thrift store for a dollar so it wasn't much of a loss I had an old like hard gun case that I was going to use as like storage on top, but it was just too small and all the latches were broken. So maybe one day I'll get some sort of hard case to put on top of it. Put some of my food in there or clothes or garbage, whatever. So yeah, this is my little camper. Um, I'll do an update video in the future on like other things I'll end up doing to it. Because I'm sure that I'll be doing a lot more. Um, Ideally, I'd like to um, see if I can find a way to raise the suspension an inch or two. Maybe get some uh, smaller tire, smaller wheels with bigger tires for more more cushy ride, because it rides pretty bumpy and firm. Um, thank you, car. I was filming a video. Um, but yeah, I'd like to raise it up so I don't like it's not as easy to scrape and stuff like that, so. Yep. 
so yeah guys that's pretty much it for now um until i think of something else at least um it's gonna be like a month or maybe a little over a month till i get out on the road and uh i don't really have any plans to to rush out there to south dakota um because it'll still be cold and a bit snowy so i'll take my time and hopefully travel with the weather a bit go north as it gets warmer um that's what my plans are for right now at least um but yeah i'll take my time and pretty much just not overdrive so where i'm like exhausted you know i might drive like two three four hours a day at most and uh find a town or a park somewhere comfortable cool to walk um and yeah that'll be fun and uh, i'm excited for it i actually uh i'm getting a little bit impatient because i just want to get out of there get out of here um yeah i got things i want to do and see and it's not a whole lot left to do and see here where i live so figure if i go out west maybe there'll, there'll be more things and stuff like that so anyways this has been adventurous hippie guy um trying to do another vlog if anybody's watching i appreciate you you're pretty cool um uh, yeah thanks guys <laughs>